Right. Hi guys, um, just while XSplit decides to sort itself out, um, I'm just going to sort of explain this game. It's called Real Lives. I used to play this a ton back in the day. It's like 2007, this particular version. There's a 2010 one, but this is what it was at for me. So what we're going to do is, like here on the left, basically it says I was born a girl in a village in the Congo Democratic Republic Equators region, not far from the city of M Mabadaka. My parents have named me Kilodo. My surname is Tayot. My mother, Nzinga, is 18. My father, Zar, is 22. I have a brother, Hisini, who is 1. So, basically, it sort of like just goes to show the struggles of day to day life. So, let's just actually... Yeah, screw it. Right, there we go. So, wait, I'm just... Right. I don't know if you can see this or not. But anyway, today um, you were you were born today, a girl in the city of today. What a wait! In fact, screw it. Let's get into the screen and we'll read it here. So my surname is Theanne. My mother Queen is twenty-seven. My father Xu is thirty-five. I have no brothers or sisters. From my parents, I have been gifted with the potential for exceptional music ability. So right now at the bottom, as you see, we're age zero. His health thirty-nine. His resistances to disease is forty. Hmm. My father has multiple sclerosis. Um, he's an electrical equipment opera. So, yeah, so it's age a year. So, my mother's found a job. She's now a power plant operator. So, your family's circumstances enabled you to move to a nice and more expensive dwelling. You come down with a case of food poisoning. This is when I'm at one. So, my health is probably going to take quite a knock. Oh, it's 36, uh, 86 even. So, it's not too bad, but this is where we live. So we'll age another year. In 1895, military defeated defeat forced China to cede Taiwan to Japan. However, it reverted to Chinese control. This is just a little fact, I guess. So nothing really happened. Let's age to three. Your family has moved to a less expensive dwelling to save money. So we only live two years. Oh my god, and I've got another case of food poisoning. I'm not even going to make it out of here. So that's just a fact about rainfall, but it's like, when I was one, I had it, when I was three, I had it, but we're in a crappy house again now, so when I'm four, nothing happened, your family's moved to a less expensive dwelling to save money, so, wow. Buddhists do not believe in a transcendent god, heaven or hell. I've begun school this year, so that's uh, something to note. Uh, my mother's got a hookworm. I don't really know what that is. Just Taiwan. It's just telling me more information about Taiwan. Family has moved to an even less expensive dwelling. So the cost of living seems to be rising. I'm now old enough to choose. I've got to choose five sort of um, things. But I'm definitely going to have music. Definitely going to have studying. And I also, I think I'm going to try and become a musician. So instead of art, I'll go for fashion, clothing, and appearance. I'll try and make it as a musician, I think, in this life, as soon as I've got the gift for it. Um, so my family's circumstances now get us to move, so we're moving around a lot. What? Wow, man. Your father has died at age 45 from multiple sclerosis. Yeah, his health was bad. I didn't realise that, so... Wow, basically we're going to be living with my mother who's on 36,000, so this is going to be rough, man. See, we've had to move to a less expensive dwelling to save money. As a Buddhist, I'm expected to follow a number of stuff. I have an opportunity to steal some merchandise of considerable values. Others in the community have a lot more money than you do. Stealing might help your finances. Will I steal the merchandise? See, the thing is, right, I wouldn't normally, but in this situation, it's we've just sort of had to like, yeah, I've just lost my dad. Um, we haven't got much money, so I'm going to risk it. I decided to steal at age 10. So. Buddhism was found, blah, blah, blah. Your family's moved to a less expensive dwelling. See, man, we're in dire straits here. Um... I've got good enough test scores to come to the trade school where I apply, yes, you begin trade school. Now that you're in school, I should consider my time differently. So, 
So I'm going to go with those I built. No, religious activities, yeah. So there we go. Traditional Chinese food is served. I hope you can read this, by the way. Ooh, some of your friends smoke cigarettes. It seems common. Why join them? No, because I, hopefully, I've met a new boy named Kai Du. Um, can I learn more? Oh yeah, here we go. It tells me actually about him. So, he's 17, I'm 16. Um, his appearance is a bit low. In fact, all of his stats are a bit low. So, no. You know what? Forget it. A fifth of Taiwanese are farmers. As a Buddhist... Alright. Fair enough. I graduated from trade school. Sweet. So, I actually did finish trade school. So, actions... School or career residence. I wonder if I can move. Oh no, I can't yet. Wait. At 18, I'll get a job. So, here we go. Oh, you are being urged to find a job. Well, I look for a job. Yes, I just said that. So, yeah, musician. Only the jobs I qualify for. But yeah, I need to be a musician. So, it earns us 14,000. Now that you are working, I can choose how to do my free time, so socialising, fashion, appearance, religious activity, so I can only do four th spare things now, so no I don't want to smoke, do I want to drink alcohol, the thing is I don't in real life, uh, I suppose I could, Kong Tong, with a name like that, how can I not, he's got a nice conscience, he's very musically gifted as well, so yeah, you know what, I will. He feels the same way. Great. So, yeah, I've 18, I've found myself a date. Love and relationships. So, I'm not going to have a child just yet. Oh my god, my mother's become diabetic. So, this isn't looking good. She's like 46. She's outlived my father, but she's slowly becoming ill, it seems. Oof, god. So, yeah. Ooh, my, um, yeah, I've been proposed to. Yeah, why not? Congratulations, I'm engaged. Fine. So, and we've got married. It's fine. Now that you're married, would you, you would junior spouse like us to move out on your own? Yes. So, here we are. We have, well, I'm bringing in 14,000. He's bringing in that. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. It does sort of auto do it for you. You could live more extravagant. It would obviously give you a longer life, but stuff it. Oh wow, I didn't realise he was in the military. So scavenger of used goods. So yeah, he earns even less than me, so reduce spending. I'll just put us on a Adequate. Wait, we're bringing in 22. That takes us to 20,000. Yeah, that's fine. You are pregnant. What will I do? Oh, this is annoying. This is annoying. I'm going to get judged. I'm so going to get judged, I think, for this. But I'm going to have to put the child up for adoption, even. I think. See, the thing is, I don't know actually, or I could have an abortion. The thing is, I want to move out of this country. I'm not going to make it in Taiwan. So, you know what, I'm sorry, it doesn't reflect me as a person, but at this scenario, we're not making enough money, it's not right, and I don't want to have the child just yet, because I've got a career to pursue. But what I'm going to try and do is residence, I'm going to um, emigrate. Let's choose a new country, and it's sorry, but it is going to be the United States. Um, you do not have enough money to, available to l emigrate legally. I'm going to try and enter it. Oh, I don't even have enough money. Legally, I would need $1,200,000. So we're not far off. You know what, then? What I'm going to do is... Finances. Where is it? I'm going to play expenses. I'm just going to... Do I'm not putting. Uh, I'll put minimal and consumer items. Misery. No, in fact, I'll have a careful shopper. So I'm just gonna have to stay here a bit longer until we get enough. 
So look at that money we've just got now. Net worth. Oh, that's my net worth, isn't it? Shit. So I'm pregnant again. I can't have a child. You have a good deal of cash. Would I bother investing some of it? Oh, no. I don't understand how I've managed to be able to do that. But, right, residence, emigrate to America. Oh, so I've just lost a bit of money. Let's try it again. Residence, emigrate to America. Yep, I've been deported again, so I'm just wasting money here. But right, emigrate to United Kingdom. Let's try there. Oh, I don't have enough money to do that. Your husband's found a new job. Good, because at 9k, there we go, he's bringing... You have become clinically depressed. Oh, God. Some of your friends smoke cigarettes. No, you are spending very little compared to others. No wonder I'm depressed, actually. But no. And actions, residents, emigrate to America, if we can. Yes, we're in America, guys. So, I'm going to seriously just go for it in Miami, Florida. So, we've moved to Miami. Um, now, with my job, it'll be my career, I guess. Um, ask, ask for a raise, I guess. You don't have a job. What? Right. So, I need to get a job. Get a job or change jobs. Musician. Congratulations. Now that you are... That I should, so music, fashion, or just music and fashion it seems. So I can't really make my partner get a job I don't think, can I? No. Finances are fine, I think. So I'm going to work some overtime actually. I've got to catch up. Oh yeah, he's got a job now. So he's doing temporary odd jobs. Your spending is creeping up. When Americans die, they're usually buried at a church funeral. So right now we're 24 years old. I don't know if this is... Oh, I see, and I've recovered from depression. So, perfect. It worked out. It worked out. You're not making any contributions to charity. Would I like to do so? No. I don't think so, that's right. Local police have tortured... or severe mistreated some criminal suspects. What do you do? Um, just focus on my own life. I'm just going to have to keep my head down, keep quiet. I'm not in a position to do anything like that. Oh, my mum back home. I forgot to develop arthritis of the knee. She's not going to be around much longer. She can't be. So, apply for public assistance. Sweet. Um, reduce spending the... What? We're spending like crazy. What the fuck, man? Go mate. Screw that. There we go. I don't need that much. Right, let's ask. I'm going to ask for a raise. Your request for a raise has been refused. Damn it. Right, fine. Career, let's... Oh, no, I am working overtime still. This is mental. Um. Will, will I risk $18,000 on this deal? It's half of what I earn, so no, I'm not going to actually. I can't risk it. Your spending is creeping up. Come down with another case of food poisoning. So just for this year, or possibly, I'm going to stop working overtime and ask for a raise. Yes, 2% pay rise. That's good. That's all very good. So you are not making any contributions to charity. No, thank you. So we're going to have the child now. I'm 30, we've got a career in music, so I have a new baby girl. Um, let's think. I'm trying to think who, what, what could call her. I'm just going to scroll down and pick whatever's in the middle. So, we'll have, we'll have Tammy, that's a very Americanized name in my opinion. So, well, my name's called Nan, it seems. Nan Kong, lol. Oh, yeah, because I'm married, aren't I now? Forgot about that. So, let's age another year. Your home has been broken into and burglarised. Stole $6,000 from me, so yeah, my net worth's just gone down. Bastard fucking thieves. Um, I need to ask for a raise then. Ooh, a 5% pay rise. Very nice. 
Let's edge a year, edge another year. Oh dear, there we go. What got my dad is now killed. No, actually, diabetes, yeah, so. There we go. So, yep, she's died. Ooh, wow, I got a lot of money from my parents there. Look at that, that's just shot up. ka -ching. I suppose that was one good thing about not leisure activities. Ah. Oh. Um, let's do physical training as well, look after myself. Um, finances, monthly expenses. So, we could, we'll give a bit to charity I guess now. And we'll be an average shopper. Thing is, I don't want to spend it all. You know, spending is creeping out. That's fine. Oh, so Tammy, your husband Tonk has recovered from depression. So that's good now. Everything's going good. I do want him to get a better job, but I don't think I can do that. I could leave my marriage. Let's have another child, actually. You are pregnant. Good. You and your husband quarrel frequently. You have fundamental incompatibility. Will you try and keep this marriage together? Um, even if you have important issues. I will for now. And um, we've just had a baby girl. What we'll call um, Amy. Why not? So now that I've got a child. It's going to be music. It's just going to be music. I need to just focus on music for now. I'm not done with my career by far. Ask for a raise. Oh, it's been refunded. Right, I'll do a couple of years, and now I'm going to ask for a raise, because this is, yes, 8% pay rise. Right, you know what, I think that gives me enough money to leave my marriage. So, yeah, he can sod off. Oh, wow. I need to find a new bloke. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Seek new romance. Lewis Smith. Um. What's his job, I wonder? Screw it, we'll see what he's like. He feels the same way, fine. He's a student. Oh, no, that's my daughter. Never mind. Um, nope, it's just going to be music still. I've not got time for socialising. Your home has been broken into again. Wow, we've got nothing. I've lost all my inheritance and everything. Wow, well, on a trip. A friend of yours has gotten herself into mortal danger. Would you wish your wife to save her? Oh, this is bad. I'm 44. I suppose you would, really. So if, it's, if, it, yeah, if it is a friend... Wait, there's a 1 in 20 chance that I will die trying to save my friend. So, yeah, let's 1 in 20. Let's risk it. I've saved my friend's life. That feels good. He's proposed marriage. He's worth $10,000. So, screw it. Yeah, let's just accept. And we're now married. Brilliant. My car was stolen. God damn it, man. Wow, we've got a net worth of... I'm going to have to apply for public assistance. There isn't going to be a job that does that. See, I don't really fancy going to one of these sell-out jobs. But, screw it. We'll go for a lab technician. So, I've had to... I've had to leave my job that I enjoyed doing, but I'm just going to socialise now, and we're going to reduce spending just a little bit. So, we'll have a moderate one. We'll bring 4.8k home. We don't need that much food. There we go. So, my health slowly deteriorates, and if you can see the number, um, good, but if you can't, I'm at 61. So Tammy's boyfriend Justin has just graduated. I suppose he's not going to college, so she's got a bit of a thicker there. But Tammy did, but oh, she didn't get into college either. My spending is creeping up. Alright, that's fine, I guess. We're not losing that much money. So my husband has got arthritis, but I'm going to see if I can have a raise. That's been refused. Oh, he's been cured of arthritis, apparently. Um, 
to marry Justin. Do I approve? You know what? Yeah, they've been together long now, so... So they've been together a while, so I just do think it was alright. So, your daughter Amy's boy from Richard has begun college. That's good. So Richard's a keeper. He's going to have money. So Amy had depression. And Amy's begun college. Wow. Ooh, she's got a probation. This is all based on statistics, by the way. And, like, the chance of something happening. It's, like, crazy. Like, if you play a life in, like, Africa, you can get raped. But, yeah, there is a demo of this out, if anyone wants to play. It's Real Life 2007. The 2010 one is different. So, yeah, Amy wants to marry Richard. Yes, I definitely approve. Those two seem good together. So... Wait, surely I can now ask them to... Surely I can ask them to leave, can't I? I don't think I could. Ooh, wow, I've got a granddaughter. Named Bonnie. There was a war. Wow, I didn't realise there was a war. Um, yep, she's got a fucking... Troubled some child, but I'm 60. So I'm doing alright. Graduated from college with a degree in psychology. Brilliant. So, Tammy has given birth to a girl named Patricia. It's very good. So I'm 66 now. Given birth to another girl called Helen. And Tammy's given birth to a boy called Arthur. Your daughter has come down with a case of food poisoning. Ooh, Amy's been involved in a road traffic accident, but fortunately, phew. So, yep, she was in a car accident, but fine. Oh, no. So, yeah, my husband's basically dead now. Or he will be soon. I'm 70, though. Yeah, there he is. Knew it. Well, that kills them fast, man. It's a bit ridiculous. So, you know what? What? I'm 71 and still working. I didn't realise that. But, yeah. Ask for a raise. 4% pay rise. Right, I'll do one more year for you. And then, you know what? I'm quitting my job. Oh, I'm just going to enjoy music, socialising, TV viewing. And art. And... No, just reading and studying. I think... There we go. I'm just sort of chilling out now. Oh, crap. I didn't even think about this. Um, so, apply for public assistance. Good. And reduce spending. So, minimal... Oh, I'm on 12,000. So, that's alright. Shelter. What? Yeah, we'll just stay on that then. Oh, monthly income compared to expenses. Shit, so I'm not bringing anything in then. Just adequate, simple, and a careful shopper. So, we've got a bit left in us. So, yeah, he's found a job. My car was stolen again. Are you kidding me? Really? So, daughter Tam has decided to move out. Justin's got a job, so it's just... Me, so really, it's a 75 year old woman with a 38 year old daughter who's an alcohol suffering from alcoholism. Basically, like she's got drinking problems. Wow, this is ridiculous. It's just gonna have to be simple and minimal. I can't really afford anything. I've sort of not been very good at this. So, Amy's... Um, yeah, she's probably drunk. That's probably why she's keep been in car accident. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have to borrow. I'm just gonna have to... See if I can get a family loan. I'm trying to think how much to borrow. Um, I'll see if I can borrow 10,000. My loan request's been denied. So, we'll get one for over five years, but we'll borrow 10,000. What? Really? I can't get anything. 
Nope, I can't get any. Learn it doesn't seem. 30 year? No. So I can't get any loan at all, it seems. So I'm sort of screwed here. My family just basically turned its back on me. Can I borrow five? Nope. Alright, fine. Reduce spending. I'm not getting a job. I'll just literally live on whatever I've got to. I'm not giving anything to charity. You seem to be in need. Would you like to apply for it? Yep. Because I'm going to need help. It's dumb that though, because then it goes, oh, you, b b b you seem to be doing this. Simple one room. I can't get alone. I'm going to have to just get a job, aren't I? But now, look at this, all the... It's just going to be music and socialising. I'm chilling out. I can't believe I'm going to go back out to work at 79. And Amy's annoying as hell. I have senile dementia. Yep, yeah, this is where I go now. Would I make to make charity contributions? No. So, you are too old. Would I like to look for another job? A cabinet maker. So, music, socialising. In fact, view teller. Just chill out, but I'm an 18 healthier. I'm going to die soon, so you know what? Job, I quit. I actually quit. TV, fashion, music, socialising. I can't even bother doing anything else. Finances, we're going to just... I don't know. What have we got? We've got 48k, so modest. Consumer items average and diet is going to be adequate. I'm just going to live a little cushy for these last few years. So, yeah, even it's highlighted now in yellow, if you see. So, we're not going to last much longer, no matter what we do. A major fire. You are not... $50. Oh, I'll try and find the owner. We'll try and find the owner. Yes, why not? The owner has given you five dollars in gratitude for finding the wallet. Five dollars is nothing because I'm going to die anyway now. So might as well just do that. We're going to die soon. We're at seven health. Reduce spending. This is ridiculous. What? Reduce spending further? It's not even let me play. Yeah, this is crazy now. Would I like to contribute to charity? Steal some merchandise. Yep, I'm gonna. Wow, your theft has met, netted me $24,000. Had to do it. Had to do it. I'm at 3 health. I've lived to 85. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can win the lottery. No lottery win this time. 87. And we're dead. There we go. You have died from an opportunistic infection due to your weakened condition. So, that's it guys. Uh, 88 years old, I died I'm afraid. So, thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. What did you think to this game actually? Um... I don't know, I just sort of wanted to show it off. I don't think I could really do a let's play of it, but how do you think? What do you think to my life choices? What would you have done different?